with Excel. Now you can see right here. Yep. So what we want to do, oh, the, the first row didn't go in, so I want to put name, I'll put email, and then CUST, custom one, custom two, IP, and date. All right. I'm just going to save that. Yep. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the quick way to put this into phpMyAdmin. The first thing you have to do after you've configured it and set it up is make sure you have it attributes for the name. Right? So I have an attribute called name, I have an attribute called phone number, and stuff like that, and where do you want to go, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I've, this is used for other purposes. <clears throat> but anyway, what I want to do is I want to subscribe page people. So I'm going to manage users. This is for one of the client. And I want to import users. So I want to import user. So I want to import emails with different values for attributes. All right? And it says importing in a spreadsheet CSV file. So I'm going to click that. But the problem is um, in the format that this is in right now, um, if you look at it, it's actually in colon and then slash colon kind of file. And for the life of me, it just doesn't work. So what you have to do, and I found this on a form for a fix, is go, you know, in your in your inbox here, Dave WW Global Work, whatever it is, to your file. We're gonna instead of a CSV file, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna save it as a text tab deliminated text file All right so we're going to do that I'm going to save it to downloads yes whatever okay now we can browse for the file so in downloads not that one the text one we hit open and then we're going to test the output just test test the output and find out, you know, override existing. That's a good one. Just select the values. Now you can send. Now this is this is it. Send note notification email or make confirmed immediately. So if you have confirmed equals one, um, which I will make probably something better, better to do that with. But anyway. So send notification email, you can send it from there, which you'll have to set up for the program, or you just confirm immediately. And since they've already double opted in, I'd say confirm immediately. Alright, so then I'm going to go import. So it's going to import session, and now it's going to go custom one. So these are, these are just the mapping attributes. So I'm just going to skip this one. Custom two, it's going to skip this one. Your IP. Yeah, might as well skip this, this one as well. And the date, I'm going to skip this one as well. Skip column. And I'm going to continue. Now, you're going to see this breakdown. Name goes to name, blah, blah, blah. Reading, reading, reading emails from file, two lines, okay. Right, one line will be imported. Dave and name. All right. <coughs> so, what I'm going to do is confirm import. Now, I've done this with like a thousand, and you do normally get, so you see one email successfully imported. Now I want to go to users. I can see global work is now showed up. And that is just because of our opt-in process. Okay? So, <clears throat> these this, that's what I would suggest to use, is PHP list. Because it's just so much better. You can add templates, configure, and there's a world of support out there for it. And you can have multiple lists, and then it all also automates the on-subscription process. So basically, <coughs> I use these the custom opt-ins. You know, use the custom opt-ins for your website, uh, but then at the end of the week or whatever, uh, I just 
import it to PHP list. Okay, so hopefully that's pretty clear. Uh, maybe I'll set up a little common field for support. So, righto, have fun with that. See you again. Oops.